y'all, it's Maddie from the Itty Bitty Homestead Committee. It is starting to get really cold up here on the mountain. We're starting to get into the negatives at night. And as we get colder and colder, we're really starting to worry about our rabbits condition when it comes to weight, especially when it comes to my Rex breeds. So with that being said, let's talk about weight during the winter time and what you can do to kind of mitigate that loss in condition. So let's hop into it. So when we talk about condition, we always have to keep in mind that there is a good weight for every rabbit. When we look at the standard of perfection for specific breeds, you will see a fluctuation normally of a pound or two. With that being said, every rabbit has a different weight at which they're at a good condition, in which we have to take into consideration their bone structure, their size, and what fits well on their body frame. Now there are a few ways that we can look at a rabbit to see if they are in condition. Of course we can get their weight and compare it to how it's been in previous months when it's warmer, but we can also take our hand, run it over the animal's body. Their flesh should be nice and firm and we shouldn't feel any protruding bones or pin bones. With that being said, when it comes to the winter time, it is better for a rabbit to be over condition and a little bit chubby than to be under condition. Other things we want to keep in mind when it comes to our rabbits in the cold is cold injuries and if our rabbits are shivering. So if our rabbits are shivering, they're overtly cold, they are wasting energy, that is going to end up being a loss in weight. You don't want them to get that cold and they shouldn't be shivering. We also want to look at certain breeds that maybe have a very large dewlap or flopping ears. You want to be careful that they're not dragging them through their water and getting cold injuries such as frostbite. So you might want to mitigate that by changing your water system out so they aren't dragging those things into your water bowls. So let's say your rabbit is losing condition and we do see a drop in weight. What can we do? Sometimes the answer is super simple. It's as simple as just slightly upping the rabbit's feed and giving them more food. With that being said, sometimes it's not so simple and we have to look at supplementation to increase the rabbit's weight or to help them keep weight. Common supplementations that I see are black oil sunflower seeds and calf manna during the winter to help increase that fat. They're also known as hot feeds and they help to increase the calories to help the rabbit have more fuel to burn as it gets colder. Another simple solution that you'll want to look at is making sure that your rabbits have access to water at all times. The way we mitigate this here in our barn is we give them warm water and we switch it about out about three times a day to ensure that they can drink. I also have a friend that hydrates their rabbit's food into a mash to help with hydration. The only problem with that is you want to make sure you're not feeding fermented feed to rabbits because that gas will collect in their gut and cause things like bloat and GI stasis. to keep in mind for this time of year is your rabbit's worming cycles. Um, I do know that I myself and a lot of other rabbit breeders do worm their rabbits every once in a while to make sure that their parasite loads are low and it depends on how you do it and how you want to do it if it's necessary. Um, I see it more common with people who are running colony styles or who are on solemn bottom cages 
but worming your rabbits and make sure, making sure that they have a low parasite load, including coccidiosis, can help with them keeping condition both in the winter and in the summer. With that being said, there is also always the option of bringing your rabbits into the garage or a more climate controlled area if you have the accessibility to do that. Um, not all of us are so lucky and we have barns or our rabbits out in the open. With that being said, most rabbits do extremely well in the winter as long as they are kept dry and out of the wind. So this is more of a precautionary thing than it is a thing to overtly worry about. It's just something to be aware about. With all of this being said, make sure that you are introducing new feeds and supplements slowly to your rabbits. Slow is the way to go when it comes to feeding and changing these guys' feed, just because they are so susceptible to things like bloat and GI stasis. Also make sure you're doing your own research into the feeds that you are feeding from not only the interwebs and your vet, but also talk to some breeders, see what they have to say. Some of the really old breeders have some really great suggestions when it comes to supplementation and they are just magnificent. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys. For my breeder friends out there, what do you do to keep your rabbits in condition during the winter? Do you have any tips or tricks? Or is it warm enough where you are to where you don't need these things? I'm jealous of you if that is the case. But that's all for I have for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.